Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. This is video 13 in the hands-on Windows Server 2019 little mini course. In this video, what we're going to be doing is deploying the printers via group policy. The last video, we just installed the print server and we manually mapped the drives, uh, manually mapped the printers to the clients. But this this time around, we're going to automate that process. All right. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, this is video 13 on how to deploy a printer via group policy. All right, so we're going to be configuring a group policy for two printers for Star and myself, and we're going to be deploying this. So, this is going to be our setup in this lab or in this infrastructure. We have our primary domain controller, which is the main where we do our active directory, DNS, DHCP, group policy, and everything with that contains active directory stuff and then we have our file and print server over here that we just did the last video and remember our two server uh two printers down here so here what we're going to be doing is creating some ou's and moving the pcs from its current ou to these ou's right and i'm going to do that we're going to create two group policies for each printer so we're going to create an ou for star and an ou for myself okay and then we're going to link the group policy to the OUs and then we'll install it and verify and make sure our PCs are manually getting these printers. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and let's move this over here. And let's go ahead and open up our lab environment, which is, where is, oh, here. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. So we have PC1, PC2, right here and then we have our file server this is just right uh, right where we left off last video and but the first thing is we're going to go ahead and come on to our active directory server our domain controller let's log in so there's no organization units under work computers so we have two computers but we're going to actually create two new ou's i want to create a ou for star and then I want to create an OU for myself, but I want to make um, my OU called IT. Okay, so we have IT and star. So if we go back to our file server, so printer one is going to be Pat and printer two is going to be star. All right, so let's go back here. So star is going to be print uh, PC one, right? Did I say that right? That's what, this is why I document. Um, Pat is PC1, okay. Pat, from here, PC1, go to IT, yes. PC2 goes to star. Okay, so now we have star, and we have star and IT in its respective OUs, all right? So that's cool, so we have that set up. So now we have the OUs, that's, uh, uh, that's um, step one and we move the PCs into the proper OU. Now let's go ahead and create some group policies. All right, so let's go ahead and open up group policy management. This is our group policy management. Let's go ahead and create two new policies. So we'll make this one IT, and then we'll make the other one star. Okay, so we have two, and let's go ahead and come up here to computers. So we have IT and star. So if we come, let's actually link. So we're gonna right click, LinkedIn existing. So IT is gonna go IT, okay? And then star has her own uh, OU. What we can see in here, there's nothing create, just give this a second to load. Um, there's no actual settings on any of these group policies at the moment, okay? So that's step two and um, so now what we're going to do is go back to our print server and in here we have uh, actually not in here let's go to deployed printers there's no deployed printers at the moment okay so it's a very simple process so once we have the organizational unit set up 
the PCs that we want to create this computer-based policy for and our um, print server set up, what we can do now is go to our printer. We go to Pat, we could do myself first. We'll right click and we'll go to deploy with group policy. Okay, so in here we have the group policy name right here. Let's go ahead and browse. Once it loads up, we'll give it a second to load. All right, so let's go to all. And this one is Pat. So this is going to be IT. So IT, oh, uh, the, organi um, the GPO. So when you hit OK, choose IT or choose whatever you name it. Hit OK. And this is going to be a computer-based group policy. It's not going to be user-based. It's going to be a directly to this PC. So we'll hit add. So now we have this share name linked. It's a, it's a, it's a connection type is per machine. And it's the group, the GPO is called IT. All right, so now we can hit apply. It should say successful, hopefully, in a second. If I know what I'm doing. All right, so print it deployed or removed successfully. We can see here that it is success, successful. All right, so that's computer, and that, that's printer one. Now let's make sure star can print, right? So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna go to deploy, browse. I'm gonna go to all, that's fine. Uh, fail to go to a different server. No, I'm gonna go to this one. Pretty weird. Uh, failed to include the list of group policies linked in this container. That's interesting. Referred. A referral was returned from the server. All right. Uh, give me a second. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with that. Uh, let's refresh this. Give this a second. All right, let me show. We can see IT. And let's go ahead and refresh. Really strange. I can see the. Let's just go back here. Refresh this. Let's go ahead and try this again. That was really strange. Let's just see. Um, so now I want to browse all. Yeah, that was really strange. I don't know. So now I want to do star because this is stars. Okay. And the same thing, we're going to do computer based. Okay. And when hit add. And now that's the same. I think this is group policy is going to be star. And it was successfully deployed. Hit OK. OK. Now we can refresh. And now if we know what we're doing, which was weird that we had that error. But sometimes you have to uh, work through some stuff, right? That's what the world of IT is. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to Florida, computers, star, and IT. And we have these two. Let's make sure we can see star. We have star's group policy. And if we go on to Active Directory, let's go over here, Florida, computers, so IT is PC1, client1, and star is PC2. So what we can do now, and that was um, verify the installation. So now the group policy was created. It was linked to the proper OUs and the policies were properly configured. So now we can go ahead and test on PC1. So we, what we can do to, to test it, we can go ahead and run Actually, let's do this. Let's run it as an administrator so we can see the group policy. Um, I don't know why my sh mach these machines are running so slow. So I don't have a lot of memory allocated to it, but still, geez, come on. All right, we'll come back to this guy. Let's go ahead and um, log into here. All right. So there's no printer there. So let's go ahead and 
we're going to run the command as an administrator it will probably prompt us because we're logged in as user one or user two so we're going to put in infosec pat backslash administrator and I want to log in with my credentials and the reason why because some commands don't run with a basic user for example if I want to run a GP result slash R if you're running and you don't see the full output so the first thing I'm going to do is do a GP update space slash force okay so this is going to force the group policy to pull from the domain controller all right so it's actually forcing that process so while that's doing that let's see if we can attempt to uh, do this again see if we can uh, get here right click on here do the same exact thing this one's running really stupid slow holy moly run as administrator I think I have it allocated the same exact RAM and everything. All right, so this one's done. So now what we can do is do a GP result, space slash R. And this is gonna show us the group policies that are applied to this machine. Show, so I believe this was star. Yes, it is. See here, we can see star. And now what we can do, if we, go on to the printer control panel and go to printers and devices we should see stars thing here just in a minute we'll, we'll give it a few and um, it should come but obviously you can see the the network is a little slow um, so here we're going to go to infosec pat backslash administrator and then my fancy password and we'll do the same thing and we'll give it a second. Um, hopefully it'll take just a couple minutes. So we'll do quickly a GP update, space slash force. So we can force that to pull down and then we'll do a result, see if IT is on this one. And then what we'll do while this is doing that, what I wanna do on here is just reboot this machine. I wanna reboot, okay. Give this a give this a nice clean reboot because it's been on since last night. And um so we'll give that some time. Refresh this. This is our print server. Let's go to our AD server. Okay, this is all good. And we don't need anything in there. I'm just gonna close everything. Uh, we don't need anything in server manager and we don't need anything in DHCP right now so we're good I think it's this server too that's actually handing out because I think I only let me see something I think I put it from 8 to 6 gig yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bump that up a little bit um, so all right cool so now this is uh, so now we're gonna do a GP result space slash R to see, make sure IT is running uh, the group policy on this machine because this is PC1 and PC1 is myself. Let me log back into STARS machine. Come on. All right, let me log in. And users two, I'm guessing that's gonna be STAR. We'll give that a minute. All right, so IT, here it is. You can see it right there. So IT is good. So now what we'll do quickly, we'll reboot this. Give that a second. And let's go back to PC2 where STARS machine is up. So now if we go to control panel, hopefully we'll see STARS printer. If STARS printer is there, then our process of deploying this via group policy was a success. And there it is, it's installing now. It's just stupid slow because, you know, I was tinkering with because I was having some stuff going on with my host. So I, I, I simmered down, I bumped down the, the resources on my servers. And obviously now it's uh, kicking, them, kicking me in the behind. All right, so that's that. Well, look, I can't even X out of this thing. 
Um, let's go back on the PC one where it's the IT. We can log in and we'll verify this. And once we verify that, I think everything else should be pretty good. And it was, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this, these little videos, learning something. Like if you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, um, just hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media platform you guys use, you wanna reach me, at, reach out to me. Um, I'm more than happy to help you out. And um, I'm not gonna put any other videos out as far as any other subjects. I wanna finish this whole playlist. Um, this is pretty much a hands-on hands course to get like a junior sysadmin person or an in-house IT help desk guy that says, okay, I wanna get out of the help desk is setting up you know, usernames, passwords, and stuff like that to like actually understanding how Active Directory works. How does these, how does the sysadmins do all this in the back end? So hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. All right, so this is PC1, so this is IT. So let's open up devices and printers, and there goes Pat, it's installing. But it's gonna take a few seconds. Let's go ahead and see PC2, let's refresh this. It's installing, you can see it right here. And um, so, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't want to bore you guys, but you can see PC one got the automatic. We didn't, we didn't install it. It automatically came out here and you know how to verify the group policy. It, what, you know, we, we ran a couple of these commands throughout the series. So if you have any questions about any commands that I'm running, if you're unsure what they really are doing, like I said, group policy, like a GP update slash force that forces the group policy, GP results slash R, that actually show you, shows you the results of the group policy that is applied to that computer or that user. Okay, so because you can see the user settings and the computer settings. All right, so that's pretty much it. So let's bring this guy over here. Let's bring this bad boy back over here. And um, so to sum it up, we were able to successfully deploy printers via group policy and we tested Star and myself PC1 and PC2, and we were able to see both printers coming in automatically. So they were automated, and that's the process of getting GPO printers installed. So if you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share, and until next time, have a good day. Take care, guys.